Hello, I'm Angela Princewell. And the question I'm answering today is, when do I stand in the place of a parent such that I now have an obligation to pay child support? Um, and well, the answer is always with most family matters is it depends on your circumstances, of course, but I'll just go over sort of the factors that a court looks at when determining if you stood in the place of a parent to a child. And for, you know, bigger context, if you're wondering what we're talking about here, it's really a usually um, in a situation where one partner comes into the relationship with a child, that's a child of another relationship. So we're talking about parties that have separated, there's a child involved, not the biological um, parent of the person who's being asked to pay child support. And that person is now wondering, well, am I actually financially responsible for this child because I happen to be in that child's life? So very quickly, part of the, the factors that the courts would look at to see if you stood in the position of, uh, in the place of a parent are, you know, did the child, did you involve the child in extended family activities with you? Were you part of disciplining that child? Did you present this child to the world and, you know, to people around you guys as that um, child's parent? Was there the fact that the child has, um, you know, just a great relationship with you um, and none with their biological parent is not enough. It needs to just be a little bit more than that. And it's not it's not just the the fact that it was for you and this child's life for a long period of time, but you just, you need to sort of have stood in the place of a parent, you know, were you part of say bedtime routines for this child? Um, did you, were you involved in disciplining the child? Um, how, how did you provide for this child financially, you know, during um, the relationship? And of course, you know, in some cases that the child adopt your name, did the child begin to call you dad? So these are obviously non-exhaustive factors, but these are some of the factors that a court would look at when trying to decide if you stood in the place of a parent. And why is that important? Well, it's important because you have a child support obligation. Every parent has an obligation to um, support their um, a child or their child, and it has nothing to do with blood relationship. So if you're not the biological child of a parent, you need to understand that if all of the factors check in and you've been found, and it's found that you've stood in the place of a parent for this child, then you will have an obligation to pay child support. So I hope that answers that question. And until next time, it's bye for now.